Hey guys, it's Yaz and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, this is going to be a different kind of video because I am going to the Chris Brown concert, girl. So I decided that I really want to sit down and film for you guys. So to make sure I did that, I figured I'd do like a get ready with me chit chat kind of deal. So a lot of you guys were asking me what I want to do after graduation. And I was really torn when it came to talking about it because I'm one of those people that's firm on the fact that like you can say your plans but God will like laugh at you because it's his plan so this video is going to kind of be like what ideally I would want to do after um graduation and all that stuff so without further ado I'll get now, right y'all I do get a couple people asking me for my makeup routine but I'm not a makeup guru i'm far from it i kind of just do the basics and that's it every day like there's never a light beat like a super beat or a light beat it's just a beat and that's the only beat that i know that's the only beat that i do so this video should be you know quite interesting but yeah so first i like to do my eyebrows first and if you see me looking down it's because i have my mirror right here okay we real beauty guru friendly around here also disclaimer if you hear things in the background i have toddlers in the house and you know you can't control them so if you hear screaming and yelling it's them they're okay but yeah so first i'm gonna start off with my eyebrows and yeah as you guys can tell my eyebrows are very thin like they're naturally arched i don't ever have to like pluck them or nothing crazy like that also excuse these dark circles under my like my eyes are so dark but you know i don't sleep well actually i sleep a lot but i'm always tired because of school so just excuse those but yeah so i like to use my anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade in the color chocolate which i think i might try a different color after this runs out but i've had this forever so um and it looks so crusty what i usually do is i warm it up in like the lid of my dip brow but because i um had this for a while it's like piled up so i usually just warm it up with my hand but don't forget to wash it off your hands i always do that and i'll be out with eyebrow pomade on my my arm but yeah so i'm gonna actually do my eyebrows off camera because i can't focus and talk while doing my eyebrows so once i get these eyebrows on my face then we're gonna get into this video okay okay so i'm back and if my eyebrows look a little uneven that's because they are i can never get them together but also before i got into this video i wanted to share this next with you guys again because i'm always getting questions about it it is from soulful and they were generous enough to give me a 15 percent discount code and i'll put it right here on the screen i'll have the link and stuff down below so definitely check that out so you can get your own i customized mine to say nurse yaz because we're speaking things into existence and you guys can customize customize yours to say whatever you like so I thought I'd just drop that down below so when it comes to what I want to do when I finish nursing school I feel like I'm still trying to figure it out because when I first went into okay my thing is stuck but when I first got into nursing school I was leaning towards pediatrics and that was basically like my goal i just knew i wanted to be a pediatric nurse and all that fun stuff but um as time passed i was kind of like i have other interests i don't really know if i'm just super set on pediatrics and i think that's perfectly fine and I, that's one thing i wanted to address in this video is that you don't have to have a certain set specialty that you want to get into there's so many opportunities in nurses you're overall if you had the right places you can you have free range to go from different departments you know so yeah so like i said i wanted to go into pediatrics because of my sister she was a full needs child so she was special needs and i grew up in the hospital i grew up in the um pediatric hospitals i was there weekends at a time for months in miami um all places in tampa everywhere st pete everywhere with her and that's where my passion of nursing started so obviously i wanted to go into pediatrics for that reason because of the care that i received and we're just going to do it like this because i can't get it to work because of the care that i received and that my sister got oh and i wanted to pay that forward oh my god this is how you know I, this beauty stuff ain't for me we're gonna do that oh okay 
and yeah i just want to pay over my gratitude to those nurses that helped me and my family out while we were there so i went ahead and put my foundation on my face it is a lot if you guys are looking for a tutorial this ain't it this is literally me every time i do my makeup it's a disaster but we find our way through okay oh jesus this is white oh my gosh uh, so yeah originally when i got into school i thought okay pediatrics that's what i'm going to be they went around the room and were like you know what specialty you want to go into i was like this looks like a mask oh god okay whatever um jesus yes look y'all i had to cut out the whole beginning clip of me putting all this foundation on my face because it was like spilling everywhere and i thought i could <sighs> y'all look at this <laughs> and i put the wrong i put my old foundation on so i'm white but yeah so i wanted to pediatrics i was pretty set on that until i got into different nursing classes and i was like i think i have other interests you know like i don't think i'm just set on strictly pediatrics you don't have to have your mind made up you know if you want to be a new grad nurse and floating or be a float nurse just so you can dibble and dabble then do that you don't have to have a certain specialty so with that being said i am one of those people who really don't know exactly what y'all these kids is going crazy please excuse it but who really like don't know what i want to get into which is not saying like i just don't know it's like i want to do everything like i literally find interest in almost every single you know area in the hospital so but i do finish school lord's windland everything works out the way it's supposed to i should be done in um november of this year so your girl's almost done Yay and i'm nervous i'm really nervous i'm starting to get that whole like feeling of oh my gosh like i'm transitioning from a student into a whole nurse and i'm scared like i'm honestly scared like people's lives are going to be in my hands and i'm going to be on the floor like all this stuff that we learn i have to put it to use and i'm scared i'm not going to sit here in front like I know everything and I'm just so like, ooh, ain't nothing. Put me on the floor today because I'm scared. I am a little bit scared. But yeah, so I just kind of been like talking to myself daily and like telling myself like, you're prepared, you know, the basics. When you start working, that's when you start learning everything again for what you're, you know, what department or what area you're in. You're gonna learn. You have the basic skill set, yes. You're capable. You're, you're good enough to be a nurse. And that's what I've been trying to get in my big old fat head because your girl's been getting nervous. Cause so I'm like, why am I almost in school? Which I'm so happy. I don't, I would do not want to redo this, this process, but it's just kind of like, wow, I'm really coming to an end. Like I just felt like it was just always, you know, something in the distance. It wasn't like, I wasn't really gonna finish nursing school. Like, not like that, but y'all know what I mean. like. Your girl's getting into her career, sis. Yeah, if I'm doing things wrong, don't comment. Because, girl, I probably know I'm doing it wrong. I just do it this way because it's the way I do it. Yeah, one of the other reasons that I've just never decided to do this video was because I was kind of like felt like it was just so far ahead like being a real nerd like being like starting working was so far ahead i was like i would sound crazy trying to say what my plans are for nursing school when i still have like two years of nursing school but now that it's close to the end i've been finding myself really thinking about it and thinking about what i want to do so so i could actually do the studio now but yeah comment down below what specialties you want to get into or what you have in mind or just comment that down below i would like to know because i've gotten to know so many of you guys and i think it'd be cool to see what kind of specialties you guys get into but i feel like we kind of know each other um lord's willing i want to try to work in the ed um 
possibly a med surge floor because I feel like I would learn a lot. When I was in med surge um, one, I actually had my clinical at a really great hospital and I was in the ED majority, 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 majority of my clinical experience and I loved it. That's when it sparked in me like I can do this. I feel like I was in my element. I kind of had like, of course I still felt like the student, but I still felt like, okay, I'm actually a nursing student. Like I can do some things. So that's where my interest sparked at. So I kind of have like a passion leaning towards the ED just because I just feel like you learn so much on a daily. You see so much on a daily that I would like to work there. So, you know, we'll see about that. But also with that same like thing in mind, I would like to do maybe a med surge floor because I was also at the med surge floor at this hospital and I just felt like that was also like a good place to be when you're trying to learn like a broad spectrum of stuff so that's where oh my gosh I'm getting makeup all over this headband but that's where I was leaning towards so I'm thinking I want to stay local for that so I'm probably gonna stay in the area and and get some experience but god forbid you know we don't know what's gonna happen maybe i'll fall in love and find my husband and have children but i highly doubt that because that's not what i want at all <laughs> but if that did happen then okay but whatever what i'm getting to is that um i have plans to hopefully get into travel nursing um traveling something that i've always wanted to do but i've never really seen anywhere besides my hometown and besides where my school's my school that so i haven't really done any traveling i haven't been nowhere so i definitely want to travel and see things and experience different cultures so lord's willing once i get my experience and get my bsn i want to travel but oh and also with that a lot of you guys ask me what kind of program i'm in and i am in an adn um adn program so i'm going to be getting my associates and nursing so the plan with that smile the plan with that is hopefully I want to ideally I want to work for six months and then go back and get my BSN after I've worked for six months just because I kind of want to give myself a break from school I've been in school since high school like I didn't have any breaks after high school I just kept going even though my route wasn't like super straight because I was at this school and this school and this school whatever whatever I kept going so I kind of want to take a little period of break not long but six months and then I want to go back for my BSN because that's gonna be mandatory I'm pretty sure of it and yeah so once I get my BSN I want to you know start looking into different um agencies for traveling because that's where my heart is that's where i would really love to experience i have so many places i want to go you know it's crazy that i can even sit here and have this conversation with you guys because i didn't even think that let me stop saying that it's so like surreal that i'm even at this point to where this is like a real thing like yes the people are asking but sis you need to ask yourself because it's around the corner and i'm just like lord i wasn't ready i was not ready like is anyone else towards the end of their program and starting to feel like like kind of hitting you like i'm really almost on with school like i'm not just gonna be a student like stressed about school i'm really gonna start working and it's just got real all right y'all so that is it for this video i had to rush it up because i'm driving and yeah i gotta go thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys found it a little bit entertaining um as you can see the makeup came out looking semi good girl like my makeup be looking horrible when i do it but then when i get the rest of the outfit on we're like we can deal with this we can deal with this but yeah so Hopefully you found comfort in this video if you're like me who's kind of just like I don't have no set specific thing that I want to get into. I don't, I'm not like super sold on anything. I'm just kind of going as I go and seeing where God takes me. So I hope you guys like this video. I felt like it was all over the place because my nieces were in the background going crazy. So I couldn't even think straight enough to even talk to you guys really. So I'm hoping it was cool. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for supporting me. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on my next one.